the vlog. It's good to have you here today. I am down in the studio and I am creating some colourful pieces of artwork. Join me as I show you my process of moving into a freer, more playful way of painting. just been to get a coffee and I thought I'd take a few minutes just to tell you something that I found quite revolutionary actually for me. Being quite an illustrative painter for so many years and being used to painting things that look like things, painting like this is is really out of my comfort zone. I'll tell you the truth, it, it really is, but in a good way, in a really good way. Um, I want to encourage you as well, if, if you want to try something like this, to really give it a go make marks on paper don't be afraid to experiment with different materials i mean the first time i came down here which i shared in my last vlog i was using sennelier oil pastels i was using metallic paint acrylics all sorts of different things the secret i think and i'm learning as i go is to literally let go let yourself come out paint mindfully and follow your intuition I can honestly tell you, despite having to sort of rein myself in a little bit, because, you know, the old illustrator brain keeps kicking in and wanting to do very sort of sharp edged lines and detail. When I'm aware of that and I can step back, take a few deep breaths, refocus, I can then get back into my painting and I'm intuitively choosing colours that I'm feeling rather than thinking, oh, that tree needs to be green and that flower needs to be pink. It's very much a case of Obviously these ones I'm exploring at the moment are themed around water and what water feels like to me. Um, so I'm trying to recreate the energy of water 
the movement, the light and the shadow, and the feeling that that brings up for me. And interestingly, it's sort of a chaos of colour. And I wasn't expecting that. I was really sort of planning, huh, there we go again, planning, being rigid, planning or expecting to work with a set colour palette. That didn't happen at all. I found myself mixing all these different colours, pinks, reds, vibrant greens, yellows, ochres, teals, you name it, they're on there. I mean, I've only got to show you this and you'll see exactly what I mean. So painting intuitively, pa painting mindfully is, is a really amazing experience and I wholeheartedly would encourage you to go and give it a go. What happens if it turns out messy? doesn't matter it's part of the process you won't believe the amount of stuff I've screwed up and started again because I've looked at it and thought ah ugly painting who wants those you might not want them but they are integral to your process and they're integral to you developing as an artist so go and give it a go I'm going to finish my coffee here and then I'm going to get stuck in um, preparing a big new board actually I've decided to venture from the smaller wooden panels on top of my bigger ones so um, I'm gonna get cracking with that so catch up in a bit gesso to this wooden panel. The reason I'm doing that is because it gives the paint something to adhere to. It, it sort of stops it from sinking into the wood. Although I've done many paintings directly onto wood before and that's fine to do that. Don't worry if you haven't got any gesso, you can paint straight onto wood. You do find though that sometimes it takes quite a few extra layers of paint to get the level of vibrancy that you might be looking for. This just gives it a seal and something to work straight on to. So it's good. And this is by Golden. It's a really good brand. You can pick up different brands, of course. I like this one and this tub has lasted me a fair while. A little bit does go a long way. So I'm gonna finish up with this and then I'm gonna think about starting my next painting. It's a new day and a new haircut as well. Time ran away with me yesterday. I had to go and pick my daughter up from school, so I didn't get around to starting the piece. I had to let the gesso dry anyway. So today I've come down and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna get stuck in with some paint and see what happens. I've also decided that I'm gonna have the pieces that I've done so far framed up. They're on slim wooden panels at the moment. I'll just show you that they're sort of really nice and slim, and I've painted the edges. But I think they just look so lovely in, in tray frames. So I'm going to take them down to my framer and see what they can do for me. I'm feeling quite confident about putting them on the website at some point down the line. I've, I've had some really nice comments and encouraging words on my social media, which has been an amazing surprise. And it's made me feel a lot more confident about following this path and creating pieces of work like this. I think for a while that, you know, it can feel really vulnerable to accept change and move forward, especially into a completely new direction. And as I say, I'm learning as I go with this process and I want to share that with you as well. If, if you're on a similar journey, you, you might be having these feelings coming up yourself and sometimes it's about taking the plunge. So yes, I'm going to get the pictures framed up and I'm going to persevere with exploring this, this way of creating art because it feels so good. For me the passion has really come back and, and that's so important I think when, when you're making art, your painting has to have that passion in it, it has to feel good and I think then the painting emanates that to other people, it's that sort of alchemy isn't it that happens. So today I'm yeah, I'm going to dig my paints out again now, get all the, the colours set up and, uh, and have another play and hopefully in the next vlog I'll be able to share more of my process with you and I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Bye for now.